just did a wash and go on my hair. I did it this morning, but I, I kind of like, I switched a part to the side. So I decided to like spray it with my spritz bottle and um, run my fingers through with some more Kinky Curly curling custard. And um, I added some inner scents create hold as well. So this is what it looks like when it's still a little damp. Um, I'm gonna let it dry tonight and I have my appointment for my curly cut, my diva cut on Friday, today's Wednesday. So um, I'm gonna see what it does the next two days and then we're gonna see the difference when I actually get it cut. And I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. I just feel like anytime I hear the word cut, I don't know, I have, hair salon trauma i just <laughs> i feel like people just take off so much of your hair for no reason you go in for a cut you come back out with a taper cut and i don't know about you but it takes a while for my hair to grow back so i don't like people playing in my hair with scissors however i do want my hair to grow out in a shape i was inspired by my friend my girl Shayna, and you know she told me that she started with a curly cut and that's why her hair has that great shape that it does now so I am going to take this plunge and see how I feel. So just showing you guys um, the before and then I'll show you the after, all right? Okay, y'all, so this is me the morning of. I head to my curly cut today. Um, this is about a three-day-old wash and go. They want you to prep your hair by putting it in a wash and go before you come. And, um, you know, I'm nervous. I know they're gonna cut a lot, but I just remind myself that, you know, this is a new beginning, it's a reset. Nobody needs dead ends or, you know, stringy ends, right? Like I want it to grow back in a nice shape. And so yeah, I'm letting go of, you know, hair that is not serving me. But yeah, I'm a little nervous because I've never had a curly cut, AKA a cut when my hair's in its natural kinky curly state. It's usually blown dried and then trimmed. That's the, you know, kind of trim I'm accustomed to. So this shall be interesting and I hope I get a good person who knows what they're doing, but I'm prepared to grow it back if it doesn't go well. It's just hair. So yeah, I'm excited to bring you all along for the journey. Um, I don't know yet. Well, you know, I'll see how I feel when I get to the salon, if I'll film inside, but I'll definitely show you the after. All right, so this is the before. I don't know why this side, see, this is why I need a trim. This is why I need shape, because it just be doing something and you see this random stringy piece, like I be t saying it's a cut, but I, like a shape, but really it's time, girl. It's time for a shape, so see y'all soon. So you put in the curly magic after, so it's like the final layer. Okay. Should I use my um, brush mount? At this point, my finger's better. Yeah. Yeah. See how I feel like I'm just, you know, ripping my hair, like, like it's getting caught in my nails or something more. Oh well, if that's the case, then I would use like a wide, wide tooth um, brush. Yeah. Not anything like a demon brush. No. Those teeth are too small. Okay. Oh well. What about the Felicia Leatherwood brush? That's what I use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can use that. You would put this on uh -huh. your hair yeah. when you were in the shower. Okay. And then when you got out, you would do this side. You would do this part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a set under dryer? I do, I do. Okay. I don't use it enough, but I'm good. <laughs> I try to get away with the handheld diffuser. And <laughs> yeah, my arms are tired. <laughs>
shake your hair out? Yeah. Perfect. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I yeah. feel like I got my summer due. Yes. I got my Shake summer due. <laughs>know if I was gonna do this as a whole blog situation but after seeing the reaction on Instagram when I posted that I got a curly cut I decided to share the footage and share my experience um I feel like I the next time I do it I replicate it myself I'm gonna try not banding it just to see what the difference is but I didn't have time to do that for this video and I really wanted to make sure since I knew I was going to work out this morning that I had them stretched so because I'm getting used to this new length and everything but this post stretch is kind of like has like a twist out vibe so it's good to know what the shape is like with a twist out I really like it and I really feel like like I said I got a cut I got my do for the summer I would encourage anybody, if you're thinking about it, get a curly cut. What inspired me was my friend Shayna. I really love seeing her pictures and how her hair, her natural hair has grown out. So I hit her up and I was like, hey, you know, what's your regimen these days? Like I'm loving like your hair looks so healthy, blah, blah, blah. And she said, well, first things first, I started out by getting a curly cut. And I've been thinking about it for some time because I feel like my hair, I've never had a curly cut. So my hair has just been in whatever shape it wants to be in with a little bit of uh, breakage and different size strands, all of this stuff happening. So I said, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready for my hair to be in a shape and for it to continue to grow out in a shape and to maintain that shape with, you know, quarterly check-ins. So me texting with Shayna was just the encouragement I needed. And now I also just know a little bit more about what products I want to focus on using. If you watch my other videos, you know that I have not had like a regimen, like products that I really, really love for a while. Like there's stuff that I would use for a, a minute, but I didn't necessarily know if it was the best for my hair. So with talking with um, Yasmin at the salon, we just talked a little bit about how butters affect your hair. Now, I'm no scientist, right? Like I did not study this myself by looking under a microscope and looking at the hair follicles and all of this stuff. So take it with a grain of salt. Definitely use what works best for you. Um, but what we discussed is how butters can be drying to the hair. And I have found that recently, like I'm feeling like my hair is just not truly getting the moisture it needs in between wash days. So what I'm gonna do is to really start testing out this method of using a little less butters and products with shea butter and all that other stuff and coconut oil and focus on water-based products. So I am going to continue trying this um, Malibu Undo Goo as my shampoo. Then I'm gonna use the um, InnerSense Hydrating Cream Conditioner. Can you guys see that? 
And then um, when I'm using mousse, I'll probably stick with the AG Hair Care um, Cloud Mousse along with, she used the Inner Sense. Like you saw that she combined these two. So she used the Inner Sense Create Hold plus this just to like, um, set the hair when it was soaking wet and then I'm gonna do this so my question to her because all these wash and go people always talk about you know the wash and go the wash and go but what about when I'm not doing the wash and go so she suggested that I style with this which I already had because I'm kind of a product junkie and that's the problem with being a product junkie because you truly don't <laughs> get a regimen down so I'm gonna start sticking to some set products so she recommended setting like things like my braids under my wigs with this mousse def so i'm gonna try that out y'all and see how that works and if i like it i'm gonna give the butters a rest for a little bit i'm not throwing that out but we'll see how i feel because i loved how my scalp felt yesterday my scalp in between wash days has been more itchy and just not feeling great and um, the oils don't seem to, to solve the problem. Nothing I've been using solves the problem other than washing it again. So I'm going to see how this process works. If you have any questions about my curly cut, feel free to hit me up. I hope I gave you as many tips as possible and shared my experience and hope it was helpful. And um, you know, you don't have to do the whole banding technique, but I enjoy it. And that's that. So. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.